Well, this time of year, Minnesotans head to cabin country. Can be expensive to rent if you don't own a place, but the Department of Natural Resources owns cabins, camper cabins, and yurts at state parks that anyone can rent. The goal is to offer affordable options. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily explains the choices for families. When you get out here, especially to Afton, we kind of maintain that wilderness experience, so you feel like you're a lot farther away than, than you really are. Afton State Park has yurts and camper cabins available to rent. So yeah, pretty basic setup. Um, each camper cabin comes with a set of bunk beds. Park Ranger Nick Bartles shows off what he calls a simple setup. Different amenities offered. Some of them have, have electricity, some don't. You're required to bring in your own, you know, sheets or sleeping bags, bedding, things like that. Uh, a dining table. You have to do all your cooking outside, either over the campfire, you bring in a grill. Well, the camper cabins, ranging from $65 to $70 a night, may be more traditional. A 60 bucks a night. The yurts are newer and gaining in popularity. I kind of think of it as a hybrid between tent camping and camper cabin cabin, you know, for the people that don't want all the creature comforts that the cabins happen to offer, but don't want to worry about packing up a tent and doing the whole setup. It's got kind of a rustic furniture setup, um, rocking chair, and then the wood stove, we actually provide the heating wood, firewood for that in the winter. There are higher end places as well that can run up to $400 a night for a place that sleeps 10. Itasca State Park features suites, cabins, and guest houses. Some of these options have bedding provided along with the comforts of home, including a full kitchen plus access to boats and canoes. There's a variety of options across the state, and they all have access to the state park and all it has to offer. We've got a lot of beautiful terrain for hiking, some challenging trails, some easy trails. So, you know, we've got over 22 miles in the park, so a lot of ground to cover. We've got a swimming beach, about a half mile hike from the parking lot, but due to that, it's a little bit more, you get a little bit more privacy. It's not quite as busy as some of the other um, beaches along the St. Croix. Bartle says making affordable options available is a priority. Just to give people that opportunity to try to, um, you know, experience that, that, like you said, that cabin living and uh, camping at a, as, at a reasonable price and experience some of the great things that the state of Minnesota has to offer. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Reservations can be made a year in advance, so they're already taking them for next summer, and they book up quickly. Those yurts at Afton are taken for nearly the next 10 months. You can also reserve a campsite. We have everything you need to know at wccocom links.